Hello and welcome back to Design Create Innovate. If you've ever watched any of my videos before, you've probably got the impression that I have um, this addiction with making vices. In the past, I've made um, an abundance of vices. I've made this sort of Moxman style vice here. I've made my drill press vice um, here. And um, I have installed a vice on my mini workbench um, there, um, which you can see uh, up in the top right corner. Today I am going to add another vice um, to my collection and it is going to sit here. It is going to be a leg vice. Um, as you probably know, um, vices all have different uses and I cannot wait uh, to start trying out my leg vice once it's finished. Now there was a vice sitting here um, and it was a tail vice. Uh, you can probably tell that it's a tail vice by this um, slat in the top of the bench and that moved up and down there. Um, I might come back to it one day but for now I've just um, I've just taken it off there so I can install the leg vice on there. The first thing that I need to do is sort out uh, this leg because um, it isn't ideal just to put a vice straight on here because I won't be able to get the top flush with that um, with, with the top because we've got that piece in there we've also got this which is a, a support baton for my draw um, so I'm going to have to take this large piece and cut it down to size so it fits just below there cut out a very small housing joint for that so that can fit in there uh, very quick apologies, um, I'm not sure how well you'll be able to hear me because the wind is absolutely howling, it is a very windy day, so I'm just sorry for that, you might need to pop the subtitles on if I am not audible uh, at all. So I'll start off by cutting this to size and making the housing joint in here. I don't really feel as though I need to show that because I showed how to make a housing joint in my next video, um, so we'll just wait for me to do that. I've just finished cutting this uh, and making the housing joint sit on there, um, so I'm just going to see how it fits. It seems to fit very, very snugly. Um, unfortunately, there is a bit of a, um, well, this, this is slightly thicker than that, so I might have to put a wee piece of plywood on there to make that um, completely um, level all the way down and then I can use this piece of floorboard and make um, the jaws of the vise. I have marks on um, one of the jaws where I want the threaded rod to go through so I'm just going to drill it out um, with a drill bit that's slightly bigger than the diameter of the rod that I'm going to be using. Now that should turn in there freely because it's a little bit bigger, uh, well the hole's a bit bigger than the actual diameter of this M6 rod. I've got the two jaws of the vise next to each other and um, I want to be able to accurately know where the threaded rod needs to go through into this piece so all I'm going to do is take a screw and a hammer and I'm going to insert that through there and then I'm just going to whack it a few times and then it's left a mark in there um, so now I know where to drill through there for the thread of rod
I have a feeling that if if I just use thread rod on you know, on its own for the vise, it's really not going to be very strong. So what I've done is I've cut um, this piece of copper here, and I have installed it into um, one of these jaws here. So I just drilled a hole all the way through, and I knocked it in with a hammer and some hot glue is just setting inside the hole to hold it in place. Um, so now when I install this piece where the vice needs to go, um, this will be on the inside and that will slide in and out and then the piece of thread and roll is going to be in that hole there. I've just taken um, the vice off the leg. Uh, uh, for now just to show you how it's going and um, so it seems to move really quite well up and down and um, but when I install it onto here it doesn't really work as well so what I think's happened is um, it's sort of catching on this hole here uh, it's a little bit hard to make out but there's a hole there that the copper goes through so um, the locking mechanism for the vice isn't going to be in here it's going to be in the piece of wood that sits on there and um, so all I'm going to do is take uh, this is 25 mil drill bit and I'm going to drill through so hopefully that is going to allow the copper to have a bit more wiggle room and slide in and out a bit easier I'm now going to apply the same concept but for where the thread of rod goes through into the leg. Now that I've done these um, simple things, the vice moves in and out much better and now I need to move on to making the locking mechanism. So just to really quickly uh, explain how the vice is going to work, it's going to be really similar to my mini workbench um, and on that we made the thread rod move rather than uh, moving the handle like uh, my vice up here which has a nut in there and it just moves up the thread rod. So we're actually going to be turning the thread rod and I'm going to have to put in a nut just there to turn that so I'll just do that now I'm just going to test it with a bolt to make sure that it's nice and straight. And then I'm just going to pop it out and just remove the um, all the wood shavings from inside. So now um, the knot is completely inside there, um, inside the leg, so now I need to secure it in. So I could glue it using epoxy but um, I just want to be even more sure that that will stay in there. So I'm going to take a wee piece of plywood and that's got a big hole in there that will fit the thread rod through and I'm just going to um, 
screw that into there. Um, to be honest, if if I just put that on there, it's not going to be ideal because it's going to jut out a bit and I won't really be able to hold anything thinner than this. But to be honest, I don't really think I hold material much thinner than that and if I am cutting a piece of plywood like that, I can use my other vice up there. Um, so I think that will just be fine. Just to be sure that I get the piece in the right place, I'm just going to put just a little bit of the thread of rod in here and then pop that up there. So now the nut is completely stuck in there and it's not coming out. I've just tested off camera that this is in the right place and I'm just going to hold it in place with some screws. Uh, glue would add another um, another level of strength to it um, but I might need to take it off at some point if it's not right. That seems nice and secure on there, but I think I'll just put in one more screw just to be sure. I have just locked two bolts. Uh, no, nuts together on this rod and I put a washer there uh, and I've just cut this piece off camera um, it's not really pretty, it's just a square piece of wood with a hole drilled in it uh, I think at some point I will use the uh, disc sander that I made and try and round off the edges a bit um, it would have been easier with a lathe to make a nice looking handle um, but I didn't have one of those so I think I'll just have to make do with what I've got and then I'm just going to put two knots on this side as well um, to lock this handle uh, in so I'll just be able to twist it and tighten up the vise. I can now go and install this vise for the first time so I'll start off just by pushing the copper through and that slides in nicely Okay, and then I'm going to get my uh, thread rod and handle pop that in there I'm going to start twisting that. We're nearly there, um, tightening this up. It isn't exactly a fast vice to tighten up, um, but I'm quite pleased so far with how it's turned out, but I just need to test it. Um, this is actually my first test, so I've got no idea how this is going to go. Right, so it looks as though when I tighten this, this handle is a little bit warped and that's sort of catching on there, which isn't ideal. I'm going to have to do something with that. But the piece is really, really solid. You can probably see me wobbling around. And I'm really happy with that. Okay. Um, I'm going to go and test it really quickly just with a saw. So, um, it isn't the the best place um for it um, because my moving seat is actually here, so it isn't um one hundred percent built brilliant. But I think I should still be able to cut with it. more 
and I'm really, really happy with it. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Um, if you like the video, um, please feel free to like and subscribe. And the next best thing you can do to support me is share this video with some of your friends and contacts. Um, as I have said before, if you are quite a crafty person, um, and if you're more into uh, sort of traditional art, uh, like drawing and painting, uh, please feel free to check out my friend's channel. Um, uh, the channel name is Mujoy Tiger 32 and I shall put a link to her in the description. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video.